What is going on guys welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today we're going to take a look at a new Nightfall exclusive hand cannon which looks absolutely epic in my opinion but hey guys before we get into that if you guys do enjoy the video leaving a like truly does help me and my channel out also due to YouTube basically being YouTube sub boxes are broke 99% of the time and the only way you guys can guarantee to be notified when uploaded is to hit that bell button so if you could go ahead and hit that bell button it would really help me out thank you it means a lot okay so with the 1.1.4 update go faster patch which dropped yesterday many things were added to the game including nightfall exclusive loot now each of the seven nightfalls has been updated loot wise and has a chance of dropping exclusive loot today we're going to take a look at a new exclusive weapon we haven't seen before and it looks damn amazing and i'm pretty sure it's a red legion weapon okay so it has a chance of dropping from the tree of probabilities nightfall strike now when this is actually going to be the weekly nightfall we don't know yet it could be next week it could be four five six weeks away we just do not know but when it does come around this is how you'll get this legendary hand cannon and it's called the dfa and you guys can see it on screen now also, he said that he started to pity the Red Legion getting trapped in here for infinite eternities. I think they're getting exactly what they deserve, Sagira. Now, I actually don't know what to think about it. When I saw it for the first time, literally 10 minutes before recording this video, I actually thought it was a new Monarchy hand cannon, but it just bears the same kind of colour theme. It actually looks like a tank for sure, and I am loving the design, and I'm pretty certain this is no reskin at all. Now you guys can see its stats on screen now, so it fires 140 rounds per minute, so relatively quick for a hand cannon, it's got an impact of 84, range of 50, stability of 59, magazine size of a 9, reload speed of 52 and a 48 handling stat. Hidden stats, it's got 14 zoom, inventory size of 58 which is a percentage by the way, aim assistance of 77 and a recoil direction of 88. Remember Masterworks versions will vary because they can buff a few of its stats. Now going by this weapon's stats, it's actually an all round better base hand cannon than the better devils. Let's see them side by side on screen now. So you can see the weapon's base stats are better than what the better devils offer and it's going to be definitely one of those to chase if you are a hand cannon kind of guy. Perks, it has adaptive frame, a well-rounded grip, reliable and sturdy, arrowhead break, lightly vented barrel, greatly controls recoil, increases handling speed, polygonal rifling, barrel optimised for recoil reduction, increased stability, extended barrel, weighty barrel extension, increases range, decreases handling speed, accurised rounds, this weapon can fire longer distances, increases range, drop mag, magazine drops on reload, wasting ammunition but greatly increases reload speed, opening shot, improved accuracy on range on the opening shot of attack, rampage, kills this weapon temporarily, grant increased damage, stacks 3 times. So again going by its perks it seems really good. Now I don't really use hand cannons, I won't lie, I much prefer auto rifles, the spray and play style they have. I ain't good enough to hold down matches in PvP with hand cannons, I ain't gonna lie to you guys, but I know many of you guys are. So let me know what you think about this weapon people. Does it look like a viable option to take into PvP? Let me know down below. So yeah guys, the DFA Red Legion Fiend hand cannon is exclusive to the Mercury Nightfall Strike, the Tree of Probabilities. Again, like I said, we don't know exactly when this Nightfall will come around, but when it does, you know what you gotta do to get this DFA. But guys, we have come to the end of the video. Thanks as always for stopping by. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like it really does help me out. Remember, if you're new around here, be sure to subscribe for daily Destiny videos. Also, hitting that bell button truly helps me and my channel out. Again, thanks for stopping by and hopefully people, I will see you on that next one.